Hey everyone, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel and go over to our home, doubletoasted.com for more videos and live streams. And remember, stay toasty. His old Martin, that, <laughs> Martin, that's good. Do it again. <laughs> Martin, it's funny too how you can do that when I open your mouth and begin to go. Ventriloquism at its finest. Ventriloquism at its finest, man. Y'all know. <laughs> Y'all know who that be? That's that Tarzan. Do they though? George of the Jungle. Tar Tarzan's so old school. Oh, uh, you know, I, some people say that might be a problem. <laughs> But y'all know who that is. Tarzan the Monkey Man. Swinging by a rubber band. <laughs> Fell down and broke his ball. Not like Santa Claus. I, we used to I say, never heard that. Man, we used to say that thing. Like, man, that was some childish shit. People used to say in third grade and shit. So I don't know. It might be sticking with people. The kids might know Tarzan. But Tarzan, you know, every, every few years they have to remind you who Tarzan is. And if you don't know, <clears throat> you know, every generation gets schooled on Tarzan. But the thing about Tarzan is that they change Tarzan up a little bit every time they try to present, oh, yeah. present him to the people out there. You know, you got to keep Tarzan fresh for the people. And it is that new, new Tarzan. Tarzan you ain't heard about. The, you know, that, that civilized Tarzan. You know, he left that jungle shit all behind. He's married now, got a family. You know, he's trying, tr trying to be a part of a society, a good British gentleman, if you will, Martin. And you know what? The thing about this movie is that it's funny because... You no had, oh, shit, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was uh, you know, with this, you have, uh, you have Tarzan, who he's working with the government now and everything, and he's working with Britain. And Britain says, you know, we're known for colonializing things and whooping a slave's ass now, every <laughs> now and then, but... <laughs> But we ain't we ain't bad as uh as the as the Belgians, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, the Belgians, man, they'll go and then fuck up the Congo in a minute. And Tarzan says, you know what? I, you know, I I'm trying to be cool, I'm trying to be civilized, but y'all fucking with my homeland now. Mm -hmm. So you know what? I gotta whip that shirt right the fuck off and go in there and take take care of business. Save Africa again. <laughs> well, it's more like he's like, I don't want to get involved, but Samuel Jackson says, You have to <laughs> motherfucker help me. <laughs> Niggas in trouble. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. And, and, and the guy is the, uh, he is, uh, the Samuel Jackson plays a Civil War hero. And he gets the help of Samuel Jackson's character to go and try to save the Congo, not only from the clutches of the Belgians, but also one creepy ass Christoph Waltz who's in there trying to exploit his, his, his brothers, his black brothers for diamonds. Oh, Martin. Now, here's the thing. Let me go up and bring the trailer up right here, because for some reason I forgot to bring that up. Um, but the thing about Tarzan, and Martin, I know you like Tarzan, you know, the creation of Edgar. I grew up with Tarzan. Yeah, did you? Yeah, the movies, the TV series, the cartoons, it, well, the it, movies. Well, see, with me, I also, I mean, every kid has grown up, at least from my generation, maybe beyond. Every kid has grown up knowing Tarzan, and I... And some kids were cool with it. People thought Tarzan was an amazing creation. I have to say, I never really liked Tarzan, man. I never really, I, I mean, it was, it, was, it was cool to know the legend of Tarzan. You know, it was cool to see the movies where he was swinging from shit and running around and uh, keeping Negroes in line and everything and everything. But I never really liked the image, I mean, of, uh, of Africa. And for probably obvious reasons to people out there, everybody knows that, uh, that Tarzan has been steeped in some... Uh, some controversial images out there. You know, Tarzan is, is uh, let's just get right down to it. A lot of people say it could be possibly a lot of racist images that go on right there. Sure. Tarzan yeah. was written in the early 30s when, you know, the, the, the white American's view of Africa was very dim. Yeah. Well, not, not America, just e everywhere. The world. Every, yeah. And that's the thing, I, I, and I admit that. Like, I, you know, Tarzan was... Uh, they called him king of the jungle, all of all Africa. And the thing about it, people, they had a problem with it because he would be all statuesque. He would go around, be all heroic. 
And, you know, he'd be out there kicking ass. If anybody remembers those 1930s Tarzan movies out mm-hmm. there, well, I think this is from, it's Tarzan the Ape Man. This is from 1933, 32, 34, something like that. <laughs> oh, my God, damn. <laughs> I, you know, he was like, he'd fight lions and shit. <laughs> I'm like, hey, man, that's my woman, man. <laughs> Tear your ass up. <laughs> Fuck it with my bitches, man. <laughs> But the thing about, okay, that was cool. Tarzan go out there and fight Hamlet in a minute. Everybody enjoyed his fearless nature. But the problem is, is that when he was done, he always had about 50 black dudes behind him. Out there just, not, you know, cheering his ass on. He's up there looking all cool. And they back there, ah, 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 you know, and all that screaming and hollering and shit. You know, they were always catching Jane, putting her in danger. You know, they were, they were, they were presented as subhuman. Yeah. And that was most of Tarzan right there. You know? Wow. <laughs> I mean, they, they just happily just fucking with him. Hey, got your Ooh, ass. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I did, even as a young child, I didn't like that image. Mainly because I grew up in a household where my parents didn't like it, nor my mother. Have mm-hmm. I ever watched a Tarzan movie? I'm like, cut them, cut that shit. I don't want to see that white man fuck with these black people. I don't get that because she likes Gone with the Wind. <laughs> I don't either, man. <laughs> and Tyler Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom is a walking paradox. You got to ask my mama. You know, Gone with the Wind was okay, but Tarzan, oh, fuck that dude. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, I, so, yeah, you know what? I, I see the problems with, with Tarzan. I don't really like it. My, tar, my Tarzan is that, uh, is that Disney shit, man. No, that's my Tarzan. No, that's my Tarzan. That's my Tarzan. <laughs> that Tarzan mine. You know, I'm not, that Tarzan's cool because in, in that one, they were able to get rid of all, you know, they just played it like black people don't exist in Africa. Yeah. You know, they got rid of all of yeah. every black person in Africa. <laughs> There's a place with gorillas. <laughs> yeah. This is some people say, what's the difference? Mm-hmm. You know, so they managed to go in there and just <laughs> Who are these people saying that? Them, yeah. them, <laughs> them Always Martin. Them. You know, they uh, oh look who's in the house. Oh, Andre! Speaking of gorillas, Andre, how you doing? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that ain't right. That ain't right. Man, Come that's, on. that's what you get for being late, man. That's what you get. <laughs> Come on over here, man. Join the show. Join the show. We're talking about your boy Tarzan. I, I, I'm about to say, you got to be talking about Tarzan, right? Got to talking about Tarzan, man. Yes. My Tarzan ain't that racist shit. My Tarzan is uh, oh, the... they managed to, to do what some people wish they could always do, get rid of all the black people in Africa. <laughs> you know, it's full of cartoon monkeys and shit. You got yep. gorillas going around sounding like Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Ah. And apparently all the gorillas are gay. Hey, hey girl. <laughs> Tarzan. Tarzan with the Tarzan. What's up, man? Tarzan with the good hair. <laughs> with your hairless ass. I love your skinless ass, Tarzan. That one on the end, too, is excited. Run, look, yes, her face is warped. She's loving that shit so much. That's my shit right there. That's my Tarzan because it's more fantasy. It's more, you know, of a, it's more a version of Tarzan where it's more whimsical and it's uh, not, and I can take that a little bit better. And that Phil Collins soundtrack. Oh mm-hmm. hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! Can't forget about that. But with this one, uh, I see. Uh, I, I think that it, 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 I, I appreciate what they're doing. I see what they're trying to do with it. I see that they're trying to advance Tarzan. Like I said, with this one. You, you know, I like that they're trying to tell you another story besides, like with superheroes, not trying to tell you an origin story. I was so afraid that this was going to be, like, start from the origin again. I was like, man, we got we to gotta go through that. All right, let's see what they do. And I was like, oh, they've actually just picked up from where what the last live action, well, the, like the Greystoke movie left yeah. off, where yeah. he's already the Earl, Gray, Earl of Greystoke. Yeah, you know, and I, and I, really, I really like that they tried to take that approach. And like <clears> I said, because for one thing, he's a... Uh, He's not now. He's cultured. He's uh, you know, he, we're getting to see the side of him that's intelligent, but also he's kind of like Batman in a way, because he's well. Look, you know when he, he <laughs> I gotta hear this. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Martin's face contorted so okay, crazy okay. when you he, said he, that. He's, he's he's rich and he's like he likes to swing around. He, Beyond that, I don't know. <laughs> no, brother, no. He you know he works with. Uh, uh, business people, you know, he's working with British uh, high class businessman. Uh-huh. He lost both with, his parents. He lost both his parents. He's a uh, he's, he's when, white. When, he, he's white. <laughs> yeah. See, that's more than we know. Like ninety eight percent of superheroes. <laughs> and, and on 
<laughs> on top of that, when he ain't his, at his job, he's wandering around a dark ass mansion, you know, at like a Wayne Manor. It's called. It's called Greystoke Manor, man. My man is just. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude! Come on, you got you, you, yeah, you got to have, have one more to legitimize this in in in, in a, just the smallest way. Just, I just do one not, more. But, <laughs> but but you know, like I said, you know, he's a. I, I like that they tried to present the smart business side of him. He's actually worked into into society, and uh, and in this clip right here, you see the people that he's working with alongside another different addition to here he's actually got a black friend now Samuel oh. Jackson England pays his debts we make money ham sandwich easy I like the way he like, <laughs> told this negro he could <laughs> <laughs> exactly <Yeah. laughs> like, what kind of black exploitation <laughs> yeah. he, he does not know his station yeah <laughs> no, he does not it's like he's like because if, if you look at the beginning of this he's in there hanging out with a bunch of British dudes Lord Greystoke let me explain the Africa situation. <laughs> King Leopold controls the Congo. He's defaulting on his loans. And, and then you got Samuel Jackson. Yo, baby, it's the hands there with sucker. It's copacetic. What more you need? <laughs> he's like, oh, Jesus. I wonder if he's like the great great grandson of Sam Jackson from Django Unchained. Yeah. Like, 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 like a lineage. Like, just, yeah. just like he's supposed to come from 1865, but it feels like 1965. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, man, it's cool. Hey. Hey. I'm a time traveler, baby. Taz, I'm a man. He's like, is it too late to reverse my decision on racism right now? Yeah. And slavery. <laughs> I sure we don't put this nigga on chains, man. <laughs> you know, that's that's actually based on a on a real person. Uh, George Washington Carver Williams uh -huh. is who Samuel Jackson is playing. Just George right Washington there. Williams. I mean George Washington Carver George Washington Carver, wow. Carver Williams. <laughs> Like, There's peanuts like, in Africa. I like peanuts too, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 hey, <laughs> Little people don't know I started the Planters Corporation. <laughs> uh, uh, but but no, he's based on a real he's based on a real person. But I just don't think the characters are that strong for starters. Uh, for one, I mean you can you can even talk about some characters that are just thrown in there just because they need a role. I mean if you need an old British. Old fashioned, old British dude, Jim Broadbent. Jim Broadbent, <laughs> call his he, ass anytime. All, anytime you say we need an old British guy, he just pops up. That's all. That's <laughs> what you call up, yeah. Candy man. That's like it's like summoning him <laughs> yeah. before you even get to the bit. Jim Broadbent. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if he, that's all he's there to do is be old and British. Yeah. He's like, I have a weekend, fellas. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> now, with with Samuel Jackson in this. I, I don't mind Samuel Jackson. It's a little bit problematic, I guess. Like I said, he plays a, a real-life character, uh, George Washington Williams. And that, that guy was a Civil War hero. He was also a minister, and he was also an activist for Africa. So a lot of people are saying, like, wow, man, or at least Africa. They're like, yeah, so you just got him hanging out with that one dude, Tarzan. He ain't worried about these other people here. <laughs> But at least he's kind of at least at least he brings like some uh, some comedy to the to the movie, which is pretty heavy, man. Well, let's be honest. He brings the only comedy or life to this whole thing. It's like, yeah, his character's problematic, but without him there, there'd be nothing. Oh, oh, I know, I know. And and the movie's so obvious. Like I again, I don't mind them trying to actually advance this. I don't mind y'all trying to get past skirt past all the. The, the, the racial problematic things, but it's a little obvious. Like, the Africans in here, them Africans are educated, man. They all speak English. Like, they've been to America. Like, they all doctors and shit. I mean, they speak English better than fucking the white people in the movie, man. Right. <laughs> you know, and it's, and it's, and it's kind of obvious what they're doing. And they have diamonds, so why are they living in caves and huts? <laughs> yeah, y'all, I mean, y'all talking like fucking Ivy League college students, yeah, y'all giving diamonds away, like y'all giving rock candy out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it really, it really don't make sense. Oh, sir, please take these. <laughs> and look it around your wife's neck. You know, it don't make, it don't make we sense. We tried chewing them, and we broke our teeth, so you can have them all. <laughs> I mean, and they try hard to make sure to let you know, look. Tarzan is Negro approved. He has a buddy. <laughs> Samuel Jackson. He's, he's got a ghetto car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all of them are his buddies. Th those are his original friends. Uh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and they even go as far as to like, and look, we just going to throw like our own Black Panther in there. Jima Hansu was practically a superhero, yeah, man. Yeah. Look at that shit. Which he looks badass. No, he like, does. Like, like his whole tribe, 
that like the whoever did the costume designs on this, uh, they they get an A plus. Is oh. there some law in Hollywood that requires him to be in every movie where a white person goes to Africa? Because I feel like he pops up in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's cool, man. I like him, man. You, if you dropped his ass in the Marvel Universe right now, even Black Panther, like, shit. <laughs> he is in the Marvel Universe. Is he? Yeah. Um, what? The dude in uh, Guard- the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yes, oh, right. Oh, that's right. Oh, but that oh, was yeah. a small yeah. role. Doing that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Ooh. 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 Yeah. In Guardians of the Galaxy, he had one line. Yeah. He wanted to make sure you knew that. <laughs> yeah, I'm Starla. Ooh. Shit. Like, no. That's, that's, like, I, that's one thing that made me mad in the movie. I was like, why would you waste him here? Yeah. You could save him for a Black Panther movie or so many yeah. other things. Well, Tarzan said, we'll scoop his ass right up. <laughs> we put got you in, covered. Put him in the biggest party of cocaine users they got. <laughs> I'm going to ask what was going on back there. Man, no, they ran out of lotion. Man. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of Ashy Larrys. <laughs> <laughs> they had Ashy in high on cocaine. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, they just rolled in. <laughs> but somebody said, females are going to be here. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> but man <laughs> but that is the other thing with the film though the characters are just not that strong they, you know they try to do something with some of those characters and, they, and while it's obvious at least they're trying mm-hmm. yeah but okay. but some other characters uh, Christoph Waltz is he man he's this guy's just he's doing the Christoph Waltz because it's just the same thing <laughs> over and over oh yeah Leon he plays Leon Rom a guy who's trying to pretty much uh, exploit certain tribes for for diamonds sounds kind of despicable right except that his character don't have anything to do so he, he, he look i don't even blame him he has no choice but to lay on like extra christoph waltz <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah like you thought you, you thought what he was saying was you know crazy but now he stretches his mouth a little uh-huh. bit more oh tarzan will be here to heal you know come on man i know and then he turns into like a james bond henchman with a weapon Oh, yeah, you got that, this, that bracelet. This, yeah, he's like, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, yeah. it's really... It's, it's like he showed up and they said, like, that thing you did, Inspector, just do that. Just yeah. do that shit again, man, because really, we don't have... We don't, we don't have a script yet. Just yeah. cat jumps in his lap out of nowhere. <laughs> yes, I mean, no. <laughs> just sit there and talk shit to Jane, man. We'll, we'll figure out something. I'm aware of his obsessive desire to kill your husband, but I've yet to discover the cause. What did... <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> cause. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> A normal man can do the impossible to save the woman he loves. My husband. Yeah, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, 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 fuck your monkey. (laughs) 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 Trying to eat this steak right now. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, you you boys do what you want with it. (laughs) (laughs) And that's another thing, man. There's just a lot of. Really talented people who are wasted in here, man. We know Margot Robbie's been making waves with a lot of films, especially now that Suicide Squad is coming out. Here, she's talking about, you know, I'm not a damsel. That's exactly what you are. You know, you yeah. I mean, they they try to like you know uh, feminism it up by making her tough and do she uh, she actually actually does almost more than Tarzan does, but she's still a damsel. And it's weird because she comes on. Mm-hmm. Is with kind of like a weird kind of British accent at first, and then somebody taps on the shoulder and says, "Like this character's actually American." So she slips into her American accent, but neither <laughs> one of them are really yeah. r- right. Yeah. <laughs> she just sounds drunk, yeah. <laughs> and she ain't saying shit. She ain't saying anything. No, she's not. But that's cool because those are supporting characters, side characters. We're really here to see Tarzan. We're here to see Tarzan. We're really here to see Tarzan. We're see, see, here to see Tarzan be a badass and show you exactly. what he can do. Exactly. We're here to see Tarzan and some CG monkeys. That's all, we, that's and all we're here to see. I hope if they make another one, we'll finally get to see what Tarzan can do. Because <laughs> he wasn't the lord of shit. He, he was a big-ass pussy who got his ass handed to him over and over and over oh, again. Man, you look, man, you hit it right there. Because, look, Tarzan, first of all, let me say, the biggest problem with this movie is Tarzan himself, the lead character. And... While there, you know, there, there are moments when Tarzan is okay, but that's only when Tarzan's a CG effect. Yeah, yeah. If Tarzan yeah. ain't, ain't uh, jumping from something and swinging from a vine or ain't fighting apes. Then ain't, that ain't shit. And even when he's fighting apes, you're like, oh shit, this shit is gonna be badass. Whatever happens. Do not interfere. Oh, let me let me show my muscles oh, right shoot. now. It was, it was so Whoa. great. The theater I was in, I was, it was a chick Woo. sat right next to me here and two girls to the left of me. And the second that shirt came off, every girl in there just rearranging the seat. Got a little lower. I was like, this girl's a nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Stop yeah, this ain't magic like you pervert. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I think I played this game. 
fucking joke. <laughs> 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 Finish him. Even then, he ain't oh, shit. God. I thought he was, I thought he was I the king of the jungle. Exactly. He's, or are you thinking like, well, he's a man. He'll he'll use his brain and come up with something smart. He'll he'll make a weapon. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> just the fact they slowed it down and make it seem like it's gonna be some awesome effect. Yeah. They just get knocked they down. They slowed it down so <laughs> you can see him get his ass whooped. <laughs> That's what he was, you know, it's funny, that's what his, that's what his, uh, that's what his goal was. He was like, I'll, I'll get this. You know, just let me get my ass whooping. Oh. Meanwhile, you run. You got something hanging on your lip. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm talking about Mike. I'm going to say, hey, man. <laughs> uh, and the thing is, you see that right there, you're like, okay, but when he comes back, like, no, nah, he gets like a, a world star beat down. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like somebody who should have been there to film it and put it online. Yeah. Oh, like, man. Gorilla Disney, world star. <laughs> Congo star. <laughs> King no, Kong ain't got shit on me. <laughs> Dude, he's basically Aquaman. It's like, because it feels like if you would have told the fish, "Hey, don't listen to Aquaman no more. Just kick his ass next time you he, yeah. he calls out." That's what happens to Tom. Oh, I had man. that exact thought watching this. Yeah, <laughs> and it's too bad because they try to present it like he, like he's a, like he's a real badass. Like not only is he a badass, but he's a mutant. I mean, they try, they, they bring in cool things like how the jungle has changed him physically, has changed the structure of his bones. I grew up running on all fours. It changed the bone structure. Do you swing good? The kid's like, ugh, yeah. gross. Know. <laughs> you nasty, Tars. He gave me a CG hand. <laughs> <laughs> the jungle is wild. <laughs> you, you don't even know. <laughs> nah. Look at him, man. Those fake ass knuckles. Right there, man. Man, like this with the CG of uh, when the elephants came up. I was like, oh god, this is awful. And there were so many moments in here. You were like, well, that's a soundstage and that's green uh-huh. screen. Yeah. I like, guess really obvious they didn't go anywhere on location to film this. Oh, you know what? And it's in. They're not even consistent with Tarzan. They're trying to. They're trying to say Tarzan can talk to animals, but they make it seem like it's a, 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 in, a, in a realistic manner. He goes by scent. You know, he goes by body language. But there's a point where he, <laughs> they don't even explain it. They say, man, how are we going to defeat all these people down here? He's like, oh, man, let me go call my friend. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so a big-ass stampede. Like, you, how the fuck did you do that? Uh-huh. The Lion King. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is a riot, man. That was a fucking lion running with a TV out there. <laughs> <laughs> lion owned. Lion owned. They don't make any sense. It's inconsistent with his character, man. Uh, and the crocodile part. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. Like, oh, so you're legit talking to them now? <laughs> okay, got it. That's the point he actually tells the crocodile, come get this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically. Oh, got you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not consistent. It's silly. The, uh, the, it, it's, as serious as they're trying to be, this is ridiculous right here. They went for a climax that they just tried to do for blockbuster reasons, and it came out just stupid. I really wanted this to be good, but the prob- the real problem is that they're trying hard with Tarzan here because Tarzan is an outdated property. I mean, for one thing, there's not a big interest in Tarzan. I, I, and you might disagree, Martin. No, no, I don't disagree at all. I mean, it's not, again, I'm not giving this some bullshit. <clears throat> because the intentions were there and I was not bored. I, I have seen worse. I have seen much worse. But this is a really, really low rental. <laughs> Right now, as a superhero craze, this was the time to make Tarzan a superhero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just blew it on that. So, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I give it a rental. Okay. Man, with this, I just feel like everybody in here was kind of sleepwalking. People really didn't seem to care about the, their lines. There didn't seem to be any kind of chemistry, especially between uh, Margot Robbie. And, oh, yeah. And oh, like, yeah. like, you're supposed to be married for multiple years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it just feels like you two just met each other the day before. And you're like, oh, yeah, I yeah. love you. Like, let's go to the jungle and have fun. And you're like, no, that's not what you should be like. You're Tarzan and Jane. You're the couple. Like you said, it is a disaster of a Tarzan film. But it's, it's, it still has some entertaining value. That's why it's not getting to some old bullshit. So yeah. it's getting a rental from me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same here. What yeah. You, man. What do you think? Um, yeah, I'll <laughs> Did you actually see that? No, nah, I didn't see okay. that one. <laughs> no, but that's what I was actually curious about is like has the jungle book 
made it where now if you even try to make a half attempt at the jungle with CGI, yeah. is that going to be look? Is it all going to look bad now? These scenes where Tarzan is, and, and these are just flashbacks. When they show him with his mom, yeah, and you see him with his, you know, so-called brothers, that movie actually. You don't really know CGI because you kind of swept up in what's happening in the story right there. But I, you know, like I said, yeah, man, Jungle Book fucked it up for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> There's a part in here, man, where they, they it was when uh, he first met Jane, and it was like he was a young looking dude. So they CGI his face to look young, but it didn't change his eyes. Oh, so his yeah. eyes were like huge on this. <laughs> that was actually an actor. <laughs> oh, that looked awful. Yeah, that man. was an actor that did that. It looked like they oh. CG over his face. That, that was that a, didn't, nothing matched with that. It looked face. like at one point it looked like they de-aged him with CG, yeah. and then it looked like they switched to a different it's actor. It's a guy yeah. named Roy J. Spear. It's uh, using uh, uh, a younger person to play. Okay. Because so. I thought what they said they did was they, like the same thing they did with uh, Terminator, whatever it was, when they CG like his face over like another yeah. actor. It kind of looked like yeah. Him. Uh-huh. No, I, I mean, I, like I said, if they had made a better movie. I would be given a lot of things for this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, even the the CG not being up to snuff. If we were enjoying the story and the actors, we would let it slide. Yeah. Yeah. I used to be mad at uh, Tarzan's mama. His uh, his his his. Uh, Adopted his, his, his adopted mom, his Why? gorilla mom. I was like, out of all the black babies in Africa, you you choose this. <laughs> and then I realized, you know, you can get any black baby in Africa. They're everywhere. You know, this is, this is like a rare Pokemon getting the white one right here. You know? With a shiny type. <laughs> yeah, you know, I can't get too many white ones around here. This is, this, this is just a collector's item right here. You know? Check out my white baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's super Girl, effective. I got a white baby. <laughs> <laughs> he just light skinned it. <laughs> she, she takes that baby on her. From how from how I'm back to the bottom of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one of those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>